um, calling to order a meeting of the Board of Assessors on Wednesday, May 17th. Already uh, at 5.15 p.m. Present, we have Russ French, Fox Barron, Lee Wickham members, Laurie Lucier Clerk, and David Perez representing the Church of God in Conway. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, first order of business is to yes. approve the minutes from the last meeting. And I did notice one tiny thing that I've written in and read where it says port, it should say back porch. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. I think I already caught that. It just okay. yeah, I caught it, but it was these were printed a long time ago. Right. They were printed like a month ago. Yep. <laughs> but I already did I already caught that. Okay, good. In, yeah. Oh, my only question is that we voted to hire an independent assessor. I believe it says it was tabled. We did not vote. Oh, oh, oh. It, it, yeah. Where, it, where is it tabled? It was a motion up at the top of the next page. Oh, gosh, I didn't even see yeah. that part. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. the, there was a motion yes. put on the table. I didn't see it was stapled. Yeah. I didn't see that part. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm going to accept. Exactly. Okay. Any further discussion or questions? Nope. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. A few initial reads. Yeah. Now, because we do have a, I was going to say, for the sake of David's time, I yes. give you permission to not follow the agenda. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> Only facts. <laughs> well, yeah, I was going to say, but because we have um, a property owner here tonight, we'll jump to number two. We'll skip the mail-in invoices for the moment. Jump to number two, and ask David. To present your position. Oh my! My name is David. Oh, right. Isn't it? You know, David Press. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. You know, uh, I'm here to find out. Um, I guess there was some taxes, and um, I don't know really clear yet which taxes are. Um, but uh, okay. The, uh, the lady. I don't know. The tax uh, collector Jan. The tax collector Jan. Oh, okay. Um, she, yeah, she told me that uh, there's some either some people missing or that I will taxes for 2020 or 2021, 2022. I don't know. There was a um, COVID thing chat down. So it was COVID, years. yes. I uh, sent a couple of letters to you guys about the reason why we couldn't do nothing up there. I am a, a, a tax assailant. I'm under the section 180 as a mm -hmm. church. Um, and I want to, I, I got most of the papers. I got some letters from there, uh, from family that so I've been sent all the time since the last time that I had, you know, I went through this it was back in years ago. I ended up paying $6,000 in taxes mm -hmm. because, um, right. some papers. It's, mm -hmm. it's been off and on. And if I do, if I do made a mistake on some kind of any papers, I want to know which one that I'm supposed to be filing. And, um, what was the reason? Okay. I don't know what years your taxes are owed for. Um, that's Jan's. Department. Um, I believe it's 2020, 2021. Yeah, I think the it's 2021. It used. Yeah, I'm looking at the fiscal 20 application here right now. And um, you had sent in a couple of um, posters from programs there in 2018, mm -hmm. but nothing in 2019, 2019 because of 2019. Okay, we didn't receive any of that. Because I got. I got to go all the way back to. Well, we didn't receive any of that. The the reason the reason that uh. We that, need, oh, okay. okay. One of the things that we need in order for your property to continue to be exempt as a religious or youth camp is proof that it is being used for that purpose during the course of the the season. In this case, the summer months, and um. If we haven't received any proof of that, then okay, here's some from 2019. But they're they're a year off. Uh, yeah. 
we have to have that, that demonstration of proof or see, go down and see ourselves. I know, you know, I've asked you in the past to send me a, um, a, uh, a, flyer. a, a flyer if you're going to be having a program there or something right. like that. Mm -hmm. So I can come down and say hi that day. Oh, okay, no, because and uh, see things going on. I usually send you. See, uh, we get them after the fact, you right, know, my, during the winter. My, my belief is the um, to be a to be a tax exam, we got to file. This is what I always go when I go down. Yeah, you got to file the, the application that you guys. Yes, always the free ABC. Yeah, the ABC. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I thought it was just that until I had a meeting with you. Then you told me at least send me picture that you did something yes that's right. right so that's what i did right but um is it is it is it the law that that have to send pictures or just the ABC? it's it's the law uh, is, is that we have to have some demonstration something that shows that something was going on there that qualified we can't we can't say you're exempt unless there's some proof that it was right. being used for your youth so, camp religious youth camp purposes right yeah. Um, now, COVID, yes, I have your letter about COVID that you sent us in January of 21. And that did absolutely throw a monkey wrench in everyone's works. I mean, since the 20, we could have. Yours in the camp right. next door. And yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I believe that I could be exempt for that from that because I did most of it, most of what, I, what you wanted it, me to do. And um, I mean, we're not, we, I'm not, we're not a big church, you know, I mean, I, know, I, spend, you're a I, spend, group. I spend most of the time just what we do it over there. Maybe you guys don't know what we, we do up there. We bring kids that have problems like stress, diabetes, and all that. We just bring them just to do yeah. stuff like that. Free camp. Chicopee and Holyoke. Yeah, we don't, we don't charge nothing for them. All the money that we raise, we raise between our members. Mm -hmm. And um, we don't do fundraising. Mm -hmm. you know, just whatever happened, it happened. This mistake was my mistake, and I always, when I do a mistake, I'll pay for it. Mm -hmm. I paid, I paid six thousand well, out of my pocket. Yeah, we were very happy this year that you sent this poster and, that and, showed activities this past summer. And did you know and we were that, able to say yes, right. you are exempt for the next year. So, so did you yeah, know that what I did with that flyer now in front of you? Uh, I don't know if you know it. I put shirt now. I have some sister the prime of the shirt, and it says a year. Yes, August 2017. No, no, the shirt. The shirt. Oh, the shirt. The shirt oh. says. Oh, yeah. So, so that's what I'm doing new. Yeah. So they won't say, well, that's after, good. you're not going. Depending on who's taxed in 2021, 2022, yeah. fiscal years. Those four years. Those four years, yeah. Four years. So he's saying he shouldn't have been taxed during COVID. Well, He's asking us to review that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and I just want to understand what's going on here, too. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let me just see. I mean, I know we approved the exempt status for the next fiscal yes, year. Yes, we did for, for, for 23. Right. Uh, 24, so, excuse me. So, You're exempt for 24. Well, I didn't know that. I haven't got that yet. Like, this is a that would be the that next, was, the next well, billing cycle. That was sent to you uh, okay. in March. Yeah. We sent you something saying you're exempt for 24. This for your 24. Yeah, that's that'll be this coming September. You won't get a bill. Right, I haven't got it done yet. Okay, well you, you should have you been, should have got it like three months ago. Yeah, so you've got an abatement here. Yeah, those are 23. That's what it says. For yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So okay. we abated that. So that's all cleared up. So what we're looking at is 19, 2021 and 22, 2021 and 2020, and 19. I didn't no, look at 19. No, 2021 and 22. Yeah, I didn't go back as far as 19. Right. Mm -hmm. And you have caught up with your filings with the state, which is good. Oh, yeah. They were way behind for a file. See, see, my, see, see what's my, my thing that when when I went up there, there's some, there's some guys on the, in the government place over in Springfield, mm -hmm. and he says, because you guys are under under Section 180 mm -hmm. as a church, yep. you're not obligated to do it. And I went to the, so I went to Boston. I told him, listen, um, Frank or Conway is telling me this, and I want to make sure that I do what they want. Yep. But they're saying that I need this because 
the, 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 the uh, my corporation could have gone down. Yeah, you, your corporation still needs to file an annual report, I believe. Yeah, right. but you don't no, need to do a PC. As a, as a religious organization, you don't have to concern boss. But I do it because if I go ever go to file for a loan or something, bank that's right, exactly. Here. You understand? Exactly. That's right. Yep. All right, yeah, you do not have to file a PC. Public Charities Division. Yeah. See, this is. But uh, I believe that your annual filings are still required. Now, this is a letter. So, I don't know. I'll just keep whatever they send. So, I might believe, my belief is because it's COVID from 20 up, you know, until the, and those, I, yeah. either, either I read wrong the letter or. Well, these are photos from 2019, which would be fiscal 2020. Right now, I'm giving you. They were sent. They were sent in the wrong year. That's a big part of it. They were sent with the application for 21. Mm -hmm. But we have an application for 20. Okay, she's with you. No. No. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Come and have a seat. <laughs> We're having a busy night tonight, Anne. Okay. Yep. Yep. 2018. We have 2018 photos. So this is for 23, which you got an abatement for. Okay. Yeah. Well, you got the, the, the no, yeah. Okay. And here are pictures from 27. Oh, I'm getting too far back now. Um, beyond what we need. So the one you shouldn't have is the one from 20 because of the COVID. And then as soon as you invite me for that, I say, well, as soon as we start in the, that's 22. And that's what the pictures are from 22 to the 24. So this is summer of 19, which will be fiscal 2020. Oh. Yeah. And it came in on the 21 application. Yeah, um, so even if it's coming in two years later, it's kind of hard to. <laughs> yes. But if you know, I'm I'm sorry. If you notice the the one for the latest one in the application for the twenty four. Yes, you're all set for fiscal twenty four. You're set. You're exempt for twenty four. Mm -hmm. I understand, but the application, yes. the, the pictures are from twenty. Yes. So I, I want to. I want to. It's, it's hard I, to get. I want to learn. I want to learn this. So mm -hmm. yep. because either, either I'm confused or I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I think there may be a little bit of that, but it's it's hard to It's easy to confuse because fiscal it's... years with calendar years. Calendar years. Yes. Okay. So, because I think I, I think I learned after this, because I had to work at over, overtime in my job and just donated. So I'll, I, I did my best. I mean, keep up this. So other was, it, was there anything to show activity in? There was no activity in 2020, which would affect. That's the right, case, because of COVID. Affect. But we have a, a letter to that effect. Mm -hmm. Okay, but he was well, not, for fiscal year 21. Yes, and that was still COVID. Mm -hmm. Somewhat, yes. Yeah. Well, he was. Oh, that's, that's all right. right. It's a fabulous sound. It is. <laughs> I love it. We have the pictures for 19, which would be fiscal 20. I think that's the only one we can address right at the moment, unless we want to talk about uh, 21 as a result of COVID. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts? Because of COVID, I would just say it should be, you know, have an exemption. But what about the year following? And what for 22? Yeah, for 22, we, we do have some photos now. So you got billed for 22? Yes. Fiscal year 22? Yes, he did. Yeah. Okay. And you did not apply for anything? Yes, he did. He did, but there was no proof. There was no proof of activity, activity going on for like three years. Wait a minute. December. So this was December of 22, but it was for fiscal year. Oh. Wait a minute. What's the date on this? December 22. Is that was proof year 22? 
So they approved your abatement cap um, application for 23, Which fiscal happened. year 23. Right. So you, so and you received that. Yes. Right. So the years get confused because yes. 22 in December was actually fiscal year 23. Yes. So the, it basically it's going to come down to a judgment call. The, pro, the camp wasn't used in 2020, 2021, or 2022 because of COVID. Yep. Or 2020 and 2020. It, yep. it wasn't used those years because of COVID, not the fault of the church. Right. It, so it, it's a judgment call. Well, the 22, it was used. 22, it was used. And you were you I'm, received the abatement for 23 because of that. Yes. Right. But it wasn't used in 20 right. or 21. Because, that's right. And, right. And that's, that was that was why I couldn't supply yep. the picture with the 22. Right. Because yep. it wasn't used. Right. So if and you're it's using it, always when, use when we send this yeah. to you in January, always send us pictures from last summer, from from the six months before. Can you send me a copy of that so I can keep it trying. <laughs> <laughs> write that down. We can put it. Yes. Write yes. It yes. I gotta write it. Right. I'll try and remember to put a note on your on the application. Yeah. One of us will try. Send us pictures from from this past okay. summer. The the only thing that got me confused. Um, big yeah. time. It got me so confused. I fill that out. The, in the middle, in November, this is where this letter got me so this letter. They sent me that I had I had a, I had applied for so for abatement. Yes. For so attention. I thought, why do I have to buy, file abatement in November? And then at the beginning of the year, I file for that. Yeah. ABC. Abatement's are a little bit different. It's, so abate you in the beginning of the year. You're filing for exemption on the bill that comes out in September, not the bill that's right then, but the bill that comes out nine months later in September and then the next April. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm three and in abatements for the previous a bill you already had in your hand. Okay. So right. you and, bill, and you just you had to apply for an abatement for hat. Yeah, or exemption. Okay. That, in this that's case. All that yeah. Mess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um so the question is. So, um, so if I'm, if, if I understand, he got billed and did not pay the taxes. Is right. that correct? Yes. Okay. Be yeah, because he was, um, oh. right. But, well, for two years, but you didn't contact us, right? He sent yeah, a letter. I sent, I sent oh. letters. Right. And, and generally, if the property is not being used for its intended purposes, it means that the the exempt status no. gets put on the back burner. But it was COVID. It was COVID. And then I'm still using it. I use it before and I use it enough. Yeah. Um, so the question is um, do we, if we can, um, oh, that's not actually, I really mean, no. grant an exempt status for those two years? I'll have to double check to make sure we can. The standard abatement you have to apply for reconsideration within 90 days, but I don't see anything on this, whatever that says hi, Jim. That says anything about um, a particular period in which you have to, you know, bring up the issue. So, so it's been um, exempt right along. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, yes. Until COVID, well, there were a couple a time, of years. Time back before that. Oh yeah, that but that got sorted out. Okay. And you paid the that taxes. That was the filings. Yeah. yeah. And um, and he paid the taxes that were owed. Okay. So are we ready to make a motion? Any further discussion on it before? I'm ready to make a motion that he be okay, granted. Let's, let's, oh, you which are. well, which which years are we talking? Fiscal 20, 20 and 21. 20 and 21. Yes. Okay. What about 22? What was decided for 22? Oh. So we two did years. an abatement for 23. So you're basically looking at three years, 2021 and 22. Yep. Right. Yes. There's two Was years where we have two you years. have activity there in the summer 20, two years ago. 21 yeah, years 22. Ago. 23, we did an abatement. 24, oh. his exempt status was 
Yeah. Okay. Right. And um, the reason the 22 wasn't done because the 21 was shut down. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're looking at three years. Yeah. And 20, there was activity in 2019. So mm -hmm. 20. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of goes without saying. Yeah, we see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So would you like to make a motion? I think just because of COVID and he was before, he had proof that he's done it and he's doing it now, I would say to grant it to him. For the years? Fiscal year 20, 20 2021, 20, 2020, 21 and 21 22. and 22. Mm -hmm. So three years. Okay, so we have a motion on the floor. A second? I'll second. All right. Any further discussion or questions? Boy, I got my work cut out for me. <laughs> okay, are we prepared to vote? Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 We will send you notice and we'll tell Jan that you've been granted exemption for those years. The taxes will not be owed. Okay. Okay, okay so kids will not going to appreciate that. Well, I could spend on them. Keep us posted, though. Please let us know when something's gonna, going on. I'm going to put a big flag that says only, only 23. Yeah, or, or, or send us, you know, just email us. Yeah. Well, when you send out those flyers, the events are coming out. You should just send one here. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, send one here. So we can have it in your file. We can have it in the file, or maybe yeah. even, as I say, take a swing by and say hello. That'd be great. Thank you. Very okay. Much. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Have a good night, David. Drive safe home. Yep. Take care. You might want to get the signed papers because I didn't much. We'll get you something in the mail. Oh, yes. So don't worry about You'll it. We'll get, get, a, you get a signed papers in the mail. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Now, uh, we have Jim who is scheduled for 630. I mean, 530. <laughs> so, I'd like to... Moved that, and I'm sorry to ask you to wait, yes. but these people had whoops, uh, prior uh, appointments on the agenda. Okay, Jim, would you like to join yeah, us? Yeah, because we want to jump over here. <laughs> That's the hot seat. <laughs> Sit at the children's table. <laughs> uh, Thanksgiving years ago, yeah. Hi. I'm alive your temper. Oh, yes, that's right. I that's remember right. we met uh, six months ago. I was here. I yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we have Tim Davis, owner of property on uh, Whateley Road, who has um, asked us to reconsider the value is apply for abatement based on whether or not it is buildable. We had deferred to the Conservation Commission because. They have been involved in the property about 10 years ago. I guess pretty close to that. 10 or 12 years yeah, ago. Yeah, 10 or I suppose, yeah. And so we found out what they had on file and we attended their meeting last week. Um, at which we all were able to participate and ask questions. Mm -hmm. And uh Get some, some more information on this. Jim, do you have more that you'd like to say about this based on last week? Um, well, I have a few questions. Um, we'll do our best. I mean, I guess my question is, I was under the impression that the Conservation Commission was going to make a ruling. And it we're seems too. like they, they kicked <laughs> the can down the road or they kicked the can over to you. So like, <laughs> I'm just confused as to what the, the status is. Yeah. Well, if I re recall, they said it wasn't a, they didn't claim it could not be built. Though. They did not say it could not be built. Right. So my understanding. That's what I understood it. It as might too. be expensive and, and mm -hmm. all that, but right. they did not say it could not be built. Right. right. And we had previously built it and valued it as a buildable lot. Mm -hmm. um, what they said was that they had not received a notice of intent with plans to build on it. So that is a the document that would require their determination as to whether or not 
it could be built on based on those particular plans. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that left a big gray area for all of us. Um, and my position was that I did that 10 years ago uh -huh. and they rejected it 10 years ago based on the 200 foot uh -huh. um, distance setback. setback. And, you know, I, I tried all kinds, I tried everything I could. I hired an environmental uh -huh. lawyer to, 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 and they still rejected everything. So my argument was like, if they rejected it 10 years ago, why would they accept it now for a house when they wouldn't accept it for a, for a cabin? Mm -hmm. And, and I, and I have, I showed them the maps. We have a right. totally, the, totally different board now. Right. I showed them the maps and they seem to understand that there was, there's only a tiny little area that's without, that's outside of the, the 200 feet, 200 feet. It's and not only that, be about 40 feet wide. And, the, and there's and there's no access to that from the road because the road is is um, 200 feet from the stream. The end of my property is 200 feet. All of your frontage was, is within 200 feet of this of the that's, brook. That's but, correct. But they it, didn't say you couldn't apply yeah. for a permit, or yeah. for a special permit, right. I should say. They said... For yeah. access, if I understood it, that's right. the way I got it too. That's that was that was my understanding. Yeah. One that's not not saying they wouldn't deny it. Yeah. But they mm -hmm. certainly said you could apply. Yeah. And it seems mm -hmm. excessive to have to go through that process. Uh, one thought that came to mind in reviewing what they had said, the assumption that anything within 200 feet of a perennial stream is unbuildable until proven otherwise, does that indicate that all over town, we need to look at every perennial stream and say anything within 200 feet is unbuildable? Not until I make a decision. Someone has to come in with a permit. I would, my understanding, you know, they have intent. to come in with a permit and say, yeah, they I want to do this, and I do it. They won't deem it unbuildable unless they actually someone asks to build. It. Well, that was that was my pretty much my understanding. But in my case, right, I did. We, I thought how do Tony we, was how do saying we text, that how do we as assessors tax right. people as building lots well, or as buildable land? Yeah, yeah or buildable yeah. land. I I understood Tony to say that. It's unbuildable until you bring an NOI and they say it's buildable. Oh. But I thought well, that I did just, that already. Yes. I thought that 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So it, that's been established. It was denied. But then he said they did it wrong. That's what I got out of the meeting, that it shouldn't have been denied or they did it wrong. Or... They said they did it wrong? They said the 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 members before it, ten years ago overstepped their bounds. I guess is yeah that 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 was a wrong decision at that point. At least that's what I got out of that, according to this group. Yes, according, yeah. none of whom were on the board at that time. But, um, what about the position that it would be very difficult to build? I don't argue with that at all. The costs of cutting a driveway up in there, mm -hmm. even if a permit were given, right? The but costs then you, of then cutting you have a driveway to up through every property that would be difficult to build on and change well, we do. status. No, we we uh, certainly have given a topographic discount in the past for a property that had a similar frontage situation where you were going to have to blast, and we reduced the value by a considerable amount to recognize that extra cost of developing the property. Um, we see just beyond there were properties with the same, very same ledge, as a matter of fact, continuing on uh, to the south had managed to do it or build just in front of the ledge. But but there was no stream with the, with the chapter 
I mean, I don't yes, we should the find out how you feel about that before we probably go any further. Right. Did you review the information about chapter? Yeah, I did. B? Yeah, I did. And I'm inclined to to want to do this. Uh, I just right. have a few questions about how I'm there, there's like three different options. There's the open space, recreation. You, you don't have to declare for management. one or the other. Yeah, if you're doing forest management, you do have to get a forest management plan done by a professional forester. But you can simply say, this is going to be continue to be natural space, um, the way it is in nature, and that qualifies it for 61B. You yeah, well, that's to, under open spaces. Yes, yeah. you don't have to actually say on one or the other. Yep. Okay, because I noticed the difference between open space and recreation is. An open space to public access is not required right. for this, but in recreation, it um, must be open to the public. It must be open to the public, yes, in that you're not posting keep off signs. Okay. That's it's already the, open to the public. That's right. Different, different rate for the two, if I'm not mistaken. No, they're both the same. They're both the same. They're both okay. the same. You're taxed at the land that's in chapter is taxed at 25% right. of what it would be normally. Well, that's under Chapter B, right? Sixty-one yeah. B. That's, that's the only one. That's the only one he would, we're talking about. Yeah, there's not okay. a plan for to be in Chapter sixty-one. Okay, mm -hmm. that requires a minimum of ten acres. Right. Yeah. So, that's an excellent step. But he could apply for that no matter what we end up. Assessing, yes, absolutely. Assessing and the yes, for. yes. And if that was combined with recognition of the cost to develop. I don't think you can, I, I don't feel you would combine the two. I, no, I well, not combine, but no, no, or. Fine. No, I think we should, we shouldn't even worry about if he's doing that. That's his option after we assess it. Yeah, and it wouldn't be until fiscal year twenty five at this point. Right. So I don't think we should even consider well, it could be 24 his choice. Because we're going to be revaluing. Twenty four billing is in what September? Yeah, and it were the values won't be finished until first of August. Way past application deadlines. In a revaluation year, you can apply in the year. What I got from this was I need to apply before October 1st. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, because we'll be doing across the board adjustments, that's considered revaluation. And so um, the reval laws apply. And you, and you read about how it goes on your um, deed. Yes, there's a lien yeah. that mm -hmm. states that this land is under chapter. Mm -hmm. Um, in the town of Conway, should you ever choose to change its use or should any, if should you ever choose to change its use, it needs to be offered to the town first to purchase. Mm -hmm. If you were to sell it to someone who planned to change its use, the town has the right of first refusal to meet that buyer's price. Mm -hmm. If you are selling it to someone like your great nephew, and he says, I'm not going to change its use, he can sign an affidavit to that effect, and the town does not come into it at all. And, and it stays. And it stays 60, but in it's only, 61 but, but when you do this, it's only good for, it's 10 years. No, 61 no, is an forestry. annual program. Oh, it's annual. Yeah, yeah. 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 yes, I re-sign up annually. Okay. Yeah. So every year, every if year, I sign I up for send this. You an, we send you an application. And you look at the back and you say, yep, we're still supporting clean air and mm -hmm. geological features and possibly some protected species and check off those little guys and sign it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That it's still being used that way. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the extent of the annual re-up. Re mm -hmm. There is a fee to file the lien. It's a one-time fee of $105 to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts for the registry. Fee. That's it. Mm -hmm. No fees to us, nothing else, no other costs. Um, okay, 
And so my other question is, um, I think you said it like you should determine what the status is first, and then I yeah. find so if it's twenty five percent of the taxable mm -hmm. um, number. Yep. In what other, is that number? In other words, if if well, I would have to calculate it all out. But if your uh, normal tax came out to ten thousand dollars, you would be billed for twenty five hundred as a demonstration yeah. figure. I don't know. Um, I'd have to run up some calculations on it. Um, Lori, can you reach the like little calculator there, please? It should be right nowhere under the monitor in that little compartment. <laughs> well, I, I think my thought is that we should be considering whether we should lower the, the, yes, thank you. the value of this property now considering the difficulty to develop it. It's it's frustrating that we don't have a clear answer on that question. Well, what, what I thought is, what is the present tax? What, the present what tax that, that we build them for one seventeen four. Okay, that's the value or valuation. At one seventeen, and that's what you put here. One seventeen four was the assessed valuation. Was that with the cabin on it? Yes. Was that before or after you changed the value of the cabin? The, uh, before. You know, there wasn't. Yeah, yeah, right, right. right. Before. Yeah, no, no. We pulled the cabin down $1,800. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that will reduce that sum anyway. Uh, not by much. No, oh, by but, about $20,000. The cabin was twenty. dollars That's right. The cabin yep. was twenty five. dollars yeah. So it'll bring it down below $100,000. Eighteen. Okay. They were down to ninety-four two. Okay. So let me ask you this: Are there other properties in town that you have given uh, compensation for for the degree of building on that property? Yes. In South Ashfield Road had several before they actually built. Mm -hmm. Once they build that goes Once away. they build that goes away, yes. Okay. Yeah, you know, okay. because they have put the expense in. Okay. So and what kind of a did you take a percentage on? No, we used a figure of fifty thousand dollars. You used you, you just used fifty thousand? We used a flat figure of fifty thousand. We mm -hmm. talked to a couple of, of um contractors. contractors. Yep. Malcolm talked to Henry Cocott. And to try and get a reasonable figure on what would have been the cost to break through that beyond the cost of putting in a normal driveway. driveway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just yeah. writing down these notes. Now that was a while back. That was 15 to 20 years ago, probably 15 anyway. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have to remember this trick next time I buy land. Well, mm -hmm. it's a valid point. So, what, what I mean, would I know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, to me, if I'm buying a piece, this isn't, I know you weren't planning on building on yours, but if I'm buying a piece of land to build a house on, I can see before I buy it, this is going to be a difficult land, difficult piece yes. of property to build on. And I know it's going to be it. difficult and I know it's going to be expensive. And this is what I'm expecting when I buy it. Mm -hmm. So, I sure wouldn't think to go, oh, I want my tax bill lowered because it's going to cost me a lot of money to blast a drive. Well, but the, the, market, the market value, you wouldn't pay as much for that as you would for a piece where you could drive off the road. I, but okay, so in your offer to buy it, you would take into consideration how much you'd have to pay to get onto that piece of land. 
But the, that you're talking purchase price. You're not talking value right. for taxes. I would not. value, taxable value. But that's not what you're doing. You're just yes. taking a flat fifty thousand yeah, dollars off of anybody's flat. house that's difficult to build. <laughs> We're trying to get to the market value. But these are people that have already purchased their houses, okay. so they've already bought right. the land at oh. market value. The purple people over there? No, no. I'm just we're, we're talking in general. Oh. They've they bought the land at market value, and then because it's difficult to build, they're no, asking they you to. No, they bought it at market value. No, they bought it at the reduced value. value because of the difficulty. Right, but these are th this looking for a reduced purchase price is different than buying the land and then sometime down the line realizing it's going to be difficult to build on, and now I'm going to go say, well. I can't build here, so I want my taxes lower until I can. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It is. <laughs> so right. what if you, I, I'm just throwing this out. What if you did like 25% off? What would that bring it down to for just the property? You know, like, a, and not like 50, 23.6. It would take off 23.6. It would, it would bring it down to 23.6. Oh. Oh, you take 25% off? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Okay. No, I did it on the bank. <laughs> that scared me for now. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. 70,700. <laughs> oh. So, what do you think of that idea? Which is about a, the going rate now for one acre. And that, Isn't that first yes. acre 70,400 yeah. or something? 70,000. Yeah, but how many acres do you have? Six. Six. Oh. That's like getting five acres for free. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but he can't even do anything at the beginning. It's only when you get up there where there's 200 foot from the brook. Because at the, down by the road, you can't do anything. If I'm right. Well, no, yeah. we just got done discussing that. He, no, no, you could. It would just be expensive. No, he and needs difficult. a driveway to get up to where it's 200 feet. So he can't you do build down by the road at no, all. No. So it's not like you're getting an acre do, free. I have, I have a question. Yeah. Like, what's how far do you have to, if you're building a house, mm -hmm. how far do you have to be from your adjacent um, neighbor's land? 25 feet. 25 feet. Okay. So that Unless would- Unless you get a variance. And that's so okay. that would make only about 25 remaining feet, less than that, mm -hmm. to, of available space to yeah. build a house. Well, you can put in a, a, you know, a ranch house that's 24 feet wide and but then you have a leach field you have yeah. telephone poles you have all well, that 25 a, a, feet a driveway that has to be, field can be in that 25 feet. yes okay but that just all i'm saying is that i know right it's, it would be difficult and expensive it's, yeah but it's, no one would would want to go through that uh and, and i never want to sell i kept to, oh i understand i never that. want to sell it and i never want to do that myself that's right but we so, have to look at it as if it's a possibility. It's a possibility. It could be done. Um, it could be. It's so a possibility that, that you could rob a bank tomorrow. So should I arrest you now? Well, think I, about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's, we're not trying to increase things, things anywhere. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. People that have an intention of never building up. That's right. For whatever reasons. And we can't, they can't change what the land is just right. because folks have said, I'm never going to sell. Never building up. And then circumstances change and they do sell or full transfer for whatever reason. Now, what about conservation? Can I mean, uh, conservation, putting it in conservation? And that would not. make it unbuildable and take off that first acre value of 70,000. But that makes it unbuildable forever. No, it's for as long as your conservation restriction is. Okay. That's, I think we mentioned that very briefly, Jim. Um, if you cared to put a conservation restriction on the property, um, that involves having a lawyer at least review a document. Um, you can do it privately or you could do it through something like the Franklin Land Trust, among other groups. And in that case, you can do them for in perpetuity or for a shorter period of time. You can say, I want to put on a restriction for five years or 10 years. Or and at the end of that period, I can reconsider. I can re you know, continue it. Or if things have mm -hmm. changed, I can do something different. So how is that different than chapter 61B? Uh, it 
the lowers the value. Period, well, it's a longer period of time. It's a longer period of time. It lowers the value, um, but not through that particular method. In this case, it would take $70,000 right off the value right there. So from 117.4, no, well, no, let's start with the 92.4. Yeah. It would bring the taxable value down to 22.3. That gets filed at the Registry of Deeds also and runs with the land. And then at the end of whatever period you decided, um, mm -hmm. we would look to see, you know, did he renew it? You know, or did he let it lapse? And now we're back in a situation like we are now where we have to think about Hmm. what the situation is so um, what's what are the taxes on twenty two thousand hmm. worth of land this year it would have been three hundred eighty two dollars and forty four cents forty five cents so you you sent me a bill for five seventy one and I paid that mm -hmm. um and that i I think that the value I don't know how they came up with it, but it was thirty three thousand. I'd have to go back and look at my notes, yeah. Jan Warner uh, yes. came up with that number. Well, that was considered half of what? You were no. paying half, weren't you paying half? Uh, or percentage or something. I think the, the, we, the final upshot was we looked at what the what it would be. I'd have to go back to the notes. But um, she had suggested a compromise value that you could pay now so that it wouldn't be lapsed. Your life taxes would not go into you know, back taxes mm -hmm. with the various fees. And and, uh, and and I thought that was reasonable. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, it's, at least it's in the ballpark. Right. I like the 22,000 <laughs> bigger, better than the 33. Right. But, um, you know, it, at least it's much better than the original. Bill. Right. So. Yeah. Uh, so if you go into conservation restriction, it will bring it down to the 20s. That's if we assess it at the what, 92? 94.2. Yeah. Oh, that's 94. Oh, I see. Yeah, 94.2. I added back in the 1800 corrected camp. Okay, value. yeah, I see that. Yeah. Um, you go into Chapter 61B, we can put most of that land into it, we would have to figure out how much land is around the camp, which is about 12 feet. Mm. <laughs> you keep a very, you don't have a great lawn or anything up there, mm. but any land that is uh, surrounding a building and the access to it, in this case, I think we'd have to consider it just a path, yeah. cannot be in 61B. So there might be a quarter of an acre that couldn't go into it. Um, and the rest would. So it reduce, would reduce the taxes there very considerably. Um, so quarter, 70, 18, 75, there. Okay, we didn't. I'd have to run it up on the computer. That might be the way to go right now for an immediate fix and give you time to get a conservation restriction on it if that's the, what you choose to do. The I'm still not sure what the difference between 61B and a conservation restriction is. A conservation restriction is a permanent, well, it's, the term of it. The permanence is the difference. The permanence is the difference. That 61B you renew every year. Mm -hmm. Three years down the road, you can decide, I don't want to renew it. And it would go back into regular taxation. Mm -hmm. um, with six with conservation restriction, if you say I'm in it for 10 years, then for the next 10 years, we have the reduced value because the value of that first acre is taken off. And therefore, you have substantially lower value for those 10 years and it's deemed unbuildable but yeah if it's I'm, deemed as unbuildable if i understand what's happening he still has 2023 fiscal year yes to pay for yes to deal with here so that's what our application is about 
that to you because you have not applied for any of these, the chapters. Or right. Anything. But we can, we have to decide what we feel is appropriate for this year's value. And then moving forward, you right. could do one of those. Mm -hmm. You suggested 25% reduction. I, that was just a thought. I was wondering yep. what it would come up to be. Yes. Yep. Uh, toward the difficulty of development. Yes. Thoughts? Thoughts? Yeah. Well, I'm just thinking back to the 50,000 on the other ones. 25% um, doesn't equal 50. Mm -mm. No, it doesn't equal, we equal, what did I say, 23,000? No. And we have to think if it was 50,000 15 years ago. Well, you I mean, have to think about the size, you know, the, the, the value I, of I that would, land. I too. would be inclined to just, that's what we use. That's what we use. Okay. Just, well, I thought it would bring it down to 70,000, not 50. No, no, we're looking at it. We're, we're at tracking at it. Really what would adjustment the adjustment be? 50, right. But if you only go down 25%, you're saying you'd rather do 50 than 25%. Well, I'm just saying that's another option. That we, yeah. Oh, okay. Because 25% would bring it down to 70000 Right. Yeah, okay. but it's only a reduction of $23,000. Right. Which would not go very far toward the excess costs of having to put a driveway up there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I'm inclined to go with a, with a, a, a $50,000. For six acres. acres. For the six acres. Mm-hmm. Okay. For one year, mm -hmm. and, and excuse me, listed that way that it's got to be. This is only for this year. Then we got to make it. It's got to make it. No, I don't think that should be right. I think you we know? should. I believe we should assess it the way it should be assessed from going on. And then if he files for a chapter or the trust or conservation, whatever, conservation yep. then that's his choice. But I think as assessors, we need to decide how to be assessed, whether he does that or not. Instead of saying a restriction that I'm not on board, but I tend to agree. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a motion? I think I, I'm I'm prepared to move that we make an allowance of fifty thousand dollars on the value to recognize the excess costs of developing, uh, getting a driveway in there through the very steep terrain from the road and the rocky, rocky very ledge, mm -hmm. ledgy area. That's my motion. Have I a second? Oh, wait a minute. So we're, we would be assessing it for 50,000. No, 50,000 50 50 off. Oh, okay, 50 off. So it'd be 44 too. Oh, okay. And that's the way it's gonna be assessed. Mm -hmm. That's right. You Not, still have the right to go into one of the programs. Right, right. Like, but okay. it, that, that, that the program at that point this, is going to be 25%. It's going to bring it down to 25% of that 44. Correct. Right. So it's only going to take. You correct. Know, it's going to bring it to about the same place. Correct. Okay. I just want to but make this, this clear. This is adjusting this year's value due to a circumstance that's there. Um, so we're changing it for... 23 or 23 down to 50 and or reducing, reducing the, it by another 50. Not down 50. To 50. No, not down to 50. 50. Oh, reducing it 50. Yes. Oh, I thought you meant it's going down to 50. Yeah. It's going below 50, actually. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm just trying to make sure I'm it's going to 44. So rephrase that motion again. So yes, I'd like to move for an allowance. That we grant an allowance of $50,000 based on, on the land based on the excess costs of developing access. Okay. From the... Oh, that's enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'll do. Okay. I just want to get the motion in there. And I, I a second. Second. Any further discussion? No. Any questions? Jim, most importantly, you. Um, okay, just let me make sure that I know <laughs> what I'm... Um, agreeing to, mm -hmm. well, I mean, what you're agreeing to, uh, that the land is now assessed at forty four thousand. No, 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 it yes. will be. Yeah, it yes. will be. It will starting be. It isn't right now. Right. It, 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 by the end of the evening, it might be. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. If this, if this goes yes, through, yes. It, it will. 
the but land of course, reduces. then there's an increase in values. But so basically, well, they're, yeah, they're reducing the value of the land by fifty thousand dollars or twenty three. Okay, that that sounds fair to me. I mean, um, <laughs> and you're also reducing I, the the cabin. Well, yes, yes, the cabin went from twenty five down to eighteen hundred. Okay, 100. that's included. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So that would bring the total down to forty four. That sounds that sounds fair to me. And the tax on forty four mm -hmm. two. And then you can still apply for that. Right. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Either one. And there, it would be 25% of 44. Yes. Right. That's right. Yes. Brings it down to 11. Well, on the land, yeah, you'd be down around 11, $12,000. Can I borrow your pen? Sure. So what's the exact number? 44 what? 44 two. 44. The taxes on that are seven. For yes. Okay. The taxes on that are $758.03. So you've essentially paid the entire thing and may get a refund. So how much is it? 758.03. But I thought he only paid 570. No, what did you just pay? You paid 571? I can't remember. 571. Yeah. Okay. So there'll be a bit more due. We're going to let you do this certificate. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be number 41. Sorry. Okay. So you're going to owe a little more. So, um, and that's going to cover me for 23. Yes. Uh, for 24, if I do this, it's going to be 25% of that. Right. Okay. That sounds. We need that, that by sounds, October. I need that by October 1st at the latest. No, uh, for not for fiscal year 24. That no, bill goes out. No, actually, if we can get it by August 1st, that would be good. Yeah. I have applications here. Up. I can give you one tonight. But, yes. You need you need this to be filed by August first. If please, if you can. Okay. If, yeah, if you're going to go, then I can have the. I thought it was set. October first, but I can do it. it by is August that's 1st. the latest for but uh, one for October first. It's for next year. That's for fiscal year, year. That fiscal year that twenty five. Fiscal year, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you want it for fiscal year twenty four, then yeah, we would need it really soon. Yeah, I have some on my desk. I can give do you one tonight. Uh, okay, so we have the. I think Final so question of to get one of the, the overall the value for the application of Jim and Edward Matus and on the value of their land, which was billed at $117,400. We found an error in the valuation of the little cabin that's up there, and that was reduced from $25,000 to $1,800 to start with. In addition, we voted to approve. We did vote on it. Yes. Did we, did we vote on it? <laughs> we did a motion. We, we, vote, we did a motion. We did a motion. Uh, okay. Make sure you sign both. All in favor of the adjustment. That. So many people members. Of fifty thousand dollars to recognize the excess cost of development. Say aye. 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 Okay. Well, now we're all set. Yes. So that reduces the total billable value to four thousand two hundred. Co-owner with my brother. His brother needs to sign that application also, doesn't he? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Yes, please. Yep. So, uh, adjusted value is going to be forty-four two. Yes, no. <laughs> and then the rest of that later. We had inadvertently signed this uh, the other day, uh, back in March. So, I'd like to just have us put the date or something beside this to verify that it's signed today. Do we want to? We, we should just initial it, though. How's that? Sure, that's excellent. Excellent, thank you. Done? Yeah, I think so. All right. I think I'm uh, sorry everybody's you happy. Finally. Oops and everything, Jim. It was oh, it was good yeah. to have an opportunity to go out there and see this piece of land. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh yeah. And we appreciate that. So uh, are you going to be sending me a bill for the, the difference or should I just Jan will. Jan will. Okay. Will she send a bill or will she? Uh she'll notify you somehow. I don't know. That's okay. her, her department, not ours. Um, but we'll send you an acknowledgement of this with the new value. Mm -hmm. Um and then she'll take that and balance it against the other and send you a bill for the difference. 
Okay, and I will, when I finally fill this out and, and get it signed and everything, yep. I just bring it back, to, you. Bring it back to, to the this meeting or bring it back to you? You can just bring it in. I'm oh, here almost um, every day. Obligations and responsibilities. Page. There are several of them up there where that was. Well, but that was out in the front hallway. Oh, okay. Is that all right? That's a 61 page. Mm -hmm. It is. It has mm -hmm. the second page. That they sign off. They yep. others, yeah. They, okay, the acknowledgement page. Yeah. yeah. The owner acknowledgement. Yeah. It's a, oh, okay. Great. Is that this? Yep. Super. Yeah. You both have to <laughs> sign that too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that's the annual thing that you'd get next year and years mm -hmm. forward. Yeah. So you'll get another one in August that'll be due October 1st, but that'll be for fiscal so the next 25. Year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But that's only if you choose the 61. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you choose a conservation thing, then that's I'm gonna talk to my guy about this and I'm gonna have him yeah. help me fill this out so I don't screw it up. Sure. Uh, <laughs> is it Hilltown Initiative or Highlands Initiative that's down your way? Yeah. And they do a lot of conservation work, conservation restrictions. But the Franklin Land Trust does also. They do a lot in Conway. Mm -hmm. So they could be a very good resource for answering your questions. Mm -hmm. They do encourage people very mm -hmm. definitely to do things permanently in perpetuity. Personally, I ask you to think about that and make sure that's what you want to do and that you don't want any opportunity to change anything in the future or that you're Heirs, mm. we'll never you're cutting it. off any possibility mm. that your heirs can ever change anything. Mm -hmm. I ask people to think about that. Um, that's why I myself like the five or 10 year plan as a possibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It still follows the same idea of. And that's the 61B. No, 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 no this is conservation restriction, but with oh. a shorter term. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's an easier one to do. This is yeah, you have to, but you have to remember to do that application every year. Yes. Yeah. That's why don't I write you a note? That's the part, <laughs> yeah. that's the part I'm trying to get that. it all sorted out in an in an I would really but, appreciate that. Yeah, yes. Definitely. It's hard to be catching all this while but, you're thinking. But I still am gonna consult with my yes, my guy. I his, absolutely he's an environmental lawyer and, and he was telling me about the land trust Good. also. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure what he's gonna recommend. So. Good. Good. All, All the right. professional okay. Thank you so much. Help you can get is great. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna, oh, you're gonna send. Jim we'll send, send you. Bill. Yep. We'll send you a copy of uh, how it works out financially. She'll send you a bill, and I'll send you an email spelling out the different programs. Sounds great. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Good night. Okay, bye. There. Good. Well, since we're have another property owner here. <laughs> hmm. And yeah, for Amber, what do we have? How can we help you? I just wanted to get the year of my house is built fixed. Okay, because oh, that's easy. Could have done that with me now. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I stopped in with Ashley one day to do it. Fix it, but nothing changed, and that was the question. No value change, right? Right, because of the effective age. I think that didn't change, and that was the question. Is the age didn't change? Yeah, it was built in 1983. Yep. So yep. the effective year should have changed. If you looked online, it ever. said that it was built in 2017. No, no, that's no. the effective. No, that's no, it was the, built in 2005. Yeah, that's the effective age. No, you had it listed as built 2005. The effective year was 2015. Really? Yeah. I know that house was there long before that. Yeah, it was. Yeah. We moved the trailer out. No, but you had it house. listed as built. Okay, 2005. well, then, certainly correct that, of course. Yeah. Well, you were supposed to do some comparisons. Oh, I, right. And you right. never did it. Right. Because I stopped to see I did you one do day it. here. I, I did do it, yes. And we never got together again about it. Um, because the, because I, I questioned some. as to why the effective year didn't change. Mm -hmm. And it's because we have to change the effective year. Yes. And we didn't. And that's what we have to do. Well, in your case, you've done some significant work to the house since it was built. And so we have to think about the effective age in terms of that. Well, if you look the, at the charts, built date it's is still you same. changed it to very good. And you added the Joe's area and so forth. And yeah, added the garage. the garage. I didn't have a garage before. Right. Now. But it's very good now where before it was average. 
So okay, that's I think how the effective year is probably a little too. Yes, okay. definitely. It's twenty fifteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I looked at the chart. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I had pulled some great. stuff out, but I didn't get a chance to call you to get together about it again. Okay. Well, can I think we decide something tonight? No, because I don't have it right at hand. Well, we can pull it up. Let's do it for our next meeting. What do you or, What do you need to do? I don't. I don't get. I guess I don't get it. What's going on here? What I'd rather do is get together and pull some comps and see if we have comparisons. If uh, so, I haven't things... done any changes since you came in in 2015. Nothing's changed right. there. After Kevin redid it, it's all been redone. Yeah, but it was originally built in '83. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's what I didn't understand because everywhere I look, it says, oh, the house was built in 2015. No, the house wasn't built in 2015. No, it didn't say built. It says the effective year is 2015. You said, you just said it was 2018. It, no, the year built is 1983. The effective year built is 2015. That's because Lee just changed that. That's what I But said, that's not what said. it was on here right but that's what i had said it was that she mixed it tonight year built is 1983 and so my question was why didn't it change in value if you change the the year built? Yeah, isn't that appreciation i mean i didn't because we found out that this program doesn't change based on year built it only changes based on effective age right and so we need to determine what is the correct effective age for this house you're looking really confused Anne. I am the, so there, are, there are two it's a multi-step process. It is a multi-step process. Okay. One is saying yes, it was built that year, 1983. Yeah. If nothing had been done to that house since 1983, 40 years ago, it'd be pretty tired out. Mm -hmm. Well, I lived in the basement the first oh, I know. three years. <laughs> but you know, you'd be looking at <laughs> furnace, you'd be looking, you know, heating system, you'd be looking way beyond roof, you'd be looking at probably a new kitchen, all these things that you would do after 40 years. Right. <laughs> However, because some have got done in the meantime, that's taken time off that 40 years. That's moved, that's mean that this means that by doing the roof, by keeping the house in good condition, by doing the renovations that were done, you've extended the life of that house. Yeah. And that's what we get into effective age. So it's more as if it were built perhaps in 2000. Might be, I don't know. So everybody in town that's got an old house <laughs> that they remodel, mm -hmm. it shows an effective age. It doesn't show yes. the original. It shows both. That was not done accurately. It was on your property card as 2005. Right. And that's what she came in for because it yeah, was. We corrected that. Right. And they've. Effective year was 2015, which is too new. Right. So that's when you redid the grade. Is that what I understand? You adjusted the grade of the house in 2015 because no, I don't think we changed the grade. I think the grade got changed it to can. also. It can be changed if there's significant and renovations. Renovations, but the structure of the house didn't change as far as the structure. No. That was when it was built, but the she remodeled. grade can be changed. If okay. there are extensive renovations, let's let me pull out your file okay. again, and I'll get out some comps. We'll have a look at it, and we can look at it in one of our work sessions. And what well, this is one of the things we're trying to do this summer is to look at groups and make sure we're being fair across the board. Mm -hmm both with grade and age. Well, I think it sounds like you're at a low boil. <laughs> well, uh, Roxy's simmering, what's going on? <laughs> well, I just looked at what's comparison in, cause she's under contemporary mm -hmm. in the year built and they are ranging from 2000 to 2005 in the effective year. That's part of the list for contemporary contemporaries, yeah. Yeah, it, it, and they're rated very good. Mm -hmm. So obviously 2015 is too high. Unless she had in 2015 had gone done, you know, a whole new kitchen and all that, which didn't, you well, didn't. 
Well, there's something. Well, that's good. That's that doesn't mean it that doesn't make sense. Because if you're comparing homes built in 1983. Yes, you also have to compare what work has been done on them since. But then. that's what we grade them as being good, average, or very Not good. Right? That's how we go. And if you're comparing very good to very good, the affected years are 2000 or 2005. What if one of those had gone through, not Anne's, but someone else, right. had just been purchased three or four years ago? And they pretty much, it was 83, they pretty much got it in. Mm -hmm. They put in a whole new kitchen, a whole new bath. They insulated the heck out of it. They replaced all the windows. Yes. Its effective age would be something like 2017 or 18. Well, you kind of have to go by grading it as very good. It would be very good, right? Probably at that point. Well, if, it, yes. if you graded it excellent, then you would it would go up even higher. But if you're no gonna... grade, remember, grade is materials, design, okay, and workmanship. Okay, condition, not not, not condition. You're talking condition? Yes. Oh. Okay, then we forget the last five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're talking condition as being very good. Yes. Grade is A, B, and C. A, B, mm -hmm. C. Yes. Okay, that's great. Yes. Condition is very good, good, average. Mm -hmm. So and when you're comparing very good, which is what you look at if they've remodeled. No, that's how it's kept. Well, also, if it's remodeled, it's very good. Condition is how it's kept. If it's if it's brand new and they haven't let it go at all, yes, it could be very good. So if it's older and they remodel, how are you going to put the condition on? You're going to go and see what condition it's in. Is so it, it would starting be very to get good. beaten up? It probably would be. Yeah. Okay. So I suppose um, that depends on who did the remodeling. It, yeah. Who did the remodeling? What kind of materials were but used? But the point is, when you're comparing very good conditions to the same year, they should be similar in. Um, is, but it, is the, the grade the same on all of them? Yeah. And did well, the I other did person the, have any work done? Okay, all right. So you're saying the grade, the ones you're looking at, the grade. Yeah. Compare, yes. And did the other house have any work done over the years? Well, then that the condition would change if they had work done. They could keep it in beautiful condition, but simply not have upgraded anything. Still the condition. If you, I mean, you can nitpick anything, but you that's Yes, you, you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny because I'm so let's let's talk about this in a work session where we can get out a good list of comps. comps. We can look at all the contemporaries and well, we can find houses similar to yours and we can really sit down and think about this. Well, yeah, but I'm looking at these conditions. This is where I'm having a problem with these this these these effective years. I know, and we know we have problems or questions with our effective years. And, and, and that we're, it seems like to it, back up and fill her in a little bit. Our previous yes system valuation took, system valuation took took effective years into date when it calculated everything. Okay. The new system does not does not. We have and they all got it. and they all got messed up when it got switched. Yeah, and nothing's the conversion it, was. At least I don't see them being have been corrected. Am I wrong? We didn't realize until just a couple of months ago. What was it? This winter that well, just a few weeks ago. Yeah. That, so no, they haven't been corrected. So they're really there's when we were doing the budget, <laughs> budget, I said these things are all over the place. Mm -hmm. And we haven't corrected mm -hmm. anything in one year since I've been here. Nothing's been corrected. Well, we've been trying to identify areas that need correction and go toward them. Because we're talking all about them, even switching programs. I right? know. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's do this in a work session. We still have a lot to do with our meeting, but we'll we get even started. The hopefully, yeah. you get at it next week <laughs> okay. and uh, get back to you and invite you to come too or whatever. Okay. But let me know. Yeah. Whatever. That would be super. The, our work sessions are open too, so you can come. Sure. That. Yeah. Sounds like I should send Joe down. <laughs> I was kind of the, the difficulty of getting a road built. Oh, I know. He's got a blast for his house. He's got to change now, but he's got to change his drive too. 
He has big trucks can't get up there. A fire truck could never get up there because oh, that, that last curve. Her. So he's going to have to blast and go straight. Oh. So well, we know where it's coming from. That Joe Grandma, his land on who's the third? Yeah, yeah, that's too bad. So yeah, he's got more issues. Yeah. Sounds like I'm sending him down here. Yes, sounds yes. like you should. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thanks for coming in. Okay. Um, back to our <laughs> regular agenda. Yes. Okay. Next on our is new mail and invoices. Uh, amongst other things, we received the preliminary cherry sheets as approved by the state ways and means and quite frankly they're virtually agreeing with the um budget proposal uh the house ways and means proposal the figures change very very little so i think we can just add these to our files for the moment the lower portion is the assessments that the town will have to pay the upper portion is what we will receive mm. which is somewhat 10,000 less roughly than we had last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not. Over the course of a million dollars, 10,000 less is not too bad. Mm -hmm. But the direction that the town budget is going, it's not our favorite direction. But warrants should be mailed pretty soon. They're in the post office. Oh, are they? Okay. Uh, Edwards Ajax stopped in and dropped off his information form, his sales verification form uh, for selling his property. He did say that there were other considerations that came into the sale that are not recorded in the numbers. So, yes, of course. Okay. So we may have to consider that one to not be a market sale. Why? Why? Because there are other values that he may have made an allowance for a certain amount of money for something. Uh, he said they were already getting in there. Of course, the electric was unfinished. Everything was unfinished. Unfinished. Yeah. Yeah, everything was unfinished. Um, the electric was empty boxes in the wall, mm -hmm. in the sheetrock. Mm -hmm. There was there was no there was no finish. No, Nothing. no finish at all. No finish. It, it trim, was no rough no. wiring, yeah. rough plumbing. So I don't understand why we can't. So you're saying it can't be counted as a what? Valid sale, as far as our sales verification is concerned, and our analyses of sale prices. Why can't it? They were buying it as as it was. As it was. Yes, that's. I agree. With so that. I'm just that's not a problem. But he's he said in it. Rather, not confidential. I'm not confidential. But. No, but he he said it's very, you know he didn't want to discuss the money because it was very pri private. But there were yes, that's things, exactly what he said. There were things that were allowed, allowed, and money reduced, and bartering done, and then that he wasn't it, going to write down it, exactly. So I mean, he took. I mean, if he left his tractor there, what they paid may have included X number of dollars for the tractor, right? Oh, things like that. And he did not take his tractor. Right. He left it, stayed there. Yeah, he couldn't. He, I've, right. I've seen his new house. There's no place for it. No. Nope. He is very happy in his new house, which is wonderful news. It's a nice little house on Good. a little postage stamp yard yep. across from the park. Nice people put it on the roof. It's lovely. Already? Already. The barns are all removed. Ah. Oh, yeah. They've been going to town. Oh really? Mm. Yeah, it's been doing a lot of a lot of work up there. Mm -hmm. I don't even think they're living there. The I don't think so. Think well, the house was a livable. There was an apartment that or a separate well, that he was living in. He was, was in one room in the kitchen oh. and the bathroom. And that was right. it. Yeah, he kept it very very basic because mm -hmm. he had had Kevin do all that work and the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's initial that if we could, please. Um, we have a letter of agreement from Tyler for the uh, fiscal 24 contract. 
And it's as they had told me, $4,061.41. That was the amount I figured into our budget. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is a notification. With regard to the 23 bill that they had sent out, I sent a notice today to all the other towns to make sure that they were getting billed the same amount. <laughs> Um, and any more changed? Any more? Don't towns, know. I didn't any, ask. Any more towns dropped? I didn't ask that. So this is for fiscal year fiscal twenty four. Oh yeah, so it's several months ahead of time. Yeah, it's an agreement basically or notification. Mm -hmm. Fiscal year twenty four starts in six weeks. Mm -hmm. I know. So it's not that. You're far. right. <laughs> right. Oh golly. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's right. I said I wasn't going to laugh anymore. <laughs> they sound like oh, it's a good movie. reminder to me, though. Uh, Peter Martin up on Ashfield Road has renewed his 61 management form uh, plan. The, forest, the forestry plan. Right, his forestry plan for another 10 years. He's been in Chapter 61 for probably 30 years at least and uh, has 46 acres, I think, up there. Yeah, 4609 that um, he takes care of, he follows the plan, does a nice job. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, the plan was done by Mike Barry from Bay State Forestry in Northfield. We should keep a note of his name somewhere. Yes, as an active forester. Well, because we've lost so many recently, and there's going to be people yeah. looking for surveyors too. Yep. We need to yep. keep a list of surveyors as well because they're retiring like mad. Um, I would move that we accept um, his new management plan as simply a renewal of his ongoing commitment to Chapter 61. Mm -hmm. Second. Second. Any further discussion? Yeah. All in favor? Hi. Hi. Okay, I sign this and so this is his renewal for chapter. Right, renewal. This is his Four. renewal to the state. It's his new forest management plan for ten oh. years. Okay. Yeah, his old ten year plan ran out, so he got oh, the one that I see. Mm -hmm. He still will, will he has to still apply for the town. Yeah. This basically, you know, is essentially it. Okay. But if, if we'll initial that front page okay. there, mm -hmm. um, that we have reviewed it. And we haven't quite, uh, I'll hold this for a minute. Sales, new listings, and new permits. Um, here we have the sales. Well, some are transfers. Some are sales. some are simply a transfer within the family. Yes, there's more. That's that. Is that Roaring Brook? Oh, okay. My bad. Right now we have one. I see that one. One, one item in our inventory on the market. That's the Mulvey House. And I had a phone call today indicating that that might be so Danielle call in at least under contract. Did Danielle call? Nope. Nope. With somebody else. Uh, I'd say there's an, an interested buyer, perhaps. I don't want to jinx anything. <laughs> well, then she permits. Yeah. No, it was an appraiser. Oh. Uh... Wait a minute, what is this? Summer sales, summer transfer. That's simply a transfer to a family trust. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can take the clip off there and I put together like things. Well, these are all, oh, these are all different. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Or so, huh? 
There isn't anything exciting in there. No. There is one surprising sale, but it was a transfer to a butter. It was never on the market, and that's the Bloomer property up on Pine Hill. The one that was an Downdale. Outrageous price. Uh -huh. Which, what's that property? Downdale. Used to be part of the McLeish estate. Oh. Yep. And it, the Sigulars purchased it. George Sigular purchased it for oh. 900 and wow. 925. And in conjunction with that sale, they had it surveyed, which is wonderful because we've never had a survey of that property before. Oh, so just the Downdale one? Yep, just Downdale. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what this is ah. a survey of Downdale. And what did we have it for in for? How many acres? 22. Uh, the valuation we had on that was like five something. Yeah, and it's in 61B. He wanted it. Hmm. He barely wanted it. Uh -huh. He doesn't want any neighbors. Not that close. I didn't see any affidavit that he wants to continue in 61B, but I will have to contact him and ask. Well, but if he didn't do an affidavit, then wasn't there a step missed? If you have a land in chapter, no, because it's not changing the use of it. You just said you didn't know if you wanted to continue it or not. So that, that would, is a change of use. Yeah, it's a possible change of use. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, had I, no idea about it before it happened. Right. And right. I imagine it was probably just an oversight. I think so. Because it was such a quick private sale. Right. And he may have had it handled by an attorney in Florida. Right. Who knows yeah. nothing about Massachusetts chapter law. Right. Okay. Yep. So a letter to him is in order. When you want to see the permit set. Yeah. A lot of solar, is that what's going on? There's some more solar, yeah. Looks like there's a fair amount of people putting generators. Yes. By the looks. Yep, higher bar, higher bar generators, yeah. Oh, yeah, you lose power for a few days. Maybe mm -hmm. they didn't like last winter, I guess. Huh? Well, we had that storm. Yes. <laughs> The folks who were out for four days or well, yes. What, what, what were they saying? The the um percentage is getting with seniors in Conway. So seniors don't want to be without power. No. <laughs> no, especially because we all have to have water pumps. I don't want to be without power. None of us do. We have to have water pumps to get our water into the house. It, well then you, can't. Ooh, you fill up your bathroom. I, I go out with buckets, yeah, well, and, get, and, get buckets and buckets of what if, snow. What, what if you don't know you're going to lose power? What if there's... Right. Well, they kind of... If, if there's a huge storm coming... they like Right, but, you know, there can be anything that happens. Oh, of course, course trees come down. Sure. Tree, you know? Yeah, car accidents. Yep. Of course, you look at... Not being one. able to flush yeah. the toilet yeah. is kind of... You up. need power to they get can. it out of the house. That's too. right. What's that? I said you need it. Yeah, that's what he said. Yes. You can't flush. Right. You can't flush. <laughs> right. Well, you can flush. Because you need the water. Well, you, you can flush until you run out of the water. <laughs> that's right. No, that's no, why no, I go no. with the buckets. This is septic system. Oh, the septic that are, system. That are now pump systems. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. You, know, you can have all the water in the house you want, but and it's not oh, going anywhere. Yeah. yeah, these are the, the new green systems. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, and it won't it, be going anywhere without. Or without power. Well, then they better put in a generator when they put those in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. How green is a propane generator? <laughs> yeah, but it just sits there in case you need it. Oh, I know. Until you need it, yeah. Where we live, until. <laughs> yeah. 
you will eventually need it. Yes, no <laughs> question. I think I was lucky. We lost power for from early in the morning until nighttime, mm -hmm. just when it started to get ridiculously cold and mm -hmm. our power came back on. Mm -hmm. was oh, like, was that the last oh, storm? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was out like three days. You know what? Yeah, but you have a generator, don't you? No. No. You fireplace. Got, yeah, well, everything in our house is electric. Yeah. There is no place for a fireplace. There is no place for yeah, a stove. Had, no place. Yeah, well, no stove. I, I had our fireplace going and cooking in it and everything else. There is just nowhere. I, I keep looking and going. Yeah, the iron but there's no place to put one. Right. The house is just too small and the rooms yes. are too small. There's no place to put it. Yeah. Camp stove. Yeah. Grill. Where to put it. Grill. Only that you can put outdoors on them. Well, well deck, yeah. I have my grill. Yeah. My propane grill. Yeah. That doesn't heat my house, though. No, no. not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a couple of mini splits now, though, right? Yeah, my mini splits. I bet, and you need power for mini splits. Well, that's of course true, silly me. <laughs> Just like you need power for a pellet stove. Yep. Yeah. Place it did. Again, not a market it wasn't, sale. It wasn't a market sale. No. No. What would we have that in for? I don't remember right now, but I do know that there were a number of other considerations, financial considerations that came into that. Um, yeah, I'm sure there were. That are not reflected in that price. Yeah, but it did finally sell. So. Hmm. What about the, we haven't heard anything about the stone house. I thought that. It did. So it's in there. Yep. Okay. What did it sell for? Uh, 300? No, no more than that. 400. 400 and something. Yeah. We weren't too far off. So, oh, what were you uh, assessing that one for? I think we were within the ten percent range of that one. Next time, I'll try and put the figures up on the on the deeds, like I used to do. I think they're from Northampton, as I recall. What's this one doing? Two kitchens and three baths. Two family house. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right, where's that one? Oh. Mm -hmm. The old man, uh, bachelor farm. Oh, yeah. Yep, they're there. really, yes, getting right into it. They didn't make any exclusion for the studio. That's, that's what, what you were asking. That's what, that's what I'm looking right, at. Right, right. I didn't see anything. Uh, I mean, nothing is on there. I don't know where the what the state is of the agreement between the historical society and the bloomers. I mean, I thought that. Oh, is that drop, where it's in drop part of by that? the wayside? Yeah, I was going to say. I, I think that that. I, had, just I think it just didn't work out. It didn't happen. No, not at this time. Because I thought, didn't with go up for vote to get put so much money towards it? Mm -hmm. Did that happen? Mm -mm. That wouldn't happen until an agreement was agreement finalized. Was 
was finalized. But there was there was, there was questions on the money parking would just... and questions on the amount of people that would be there yeah. on time, and the traffic on the road was the worst of it because, yep, if they were holding events, right, and... that's a terrible road to have traffic on. Yes, as we all know. But there was no power to it either, was there? No, no, no. But they were talking about having readings and music and you know wonderful things. Yes, but but very difficult spot to do them. Um, I know it could be done and it'd be beautiful. Yes. Well, maybe now with the new army. Well, who knows what will happen? Yeah. Um, hmm. oh, a lot of application. Yes. Always a busy season. Okay, very good. Next we have motor vehicle excise abatements. And there are several here. There are red clips on the part where we have to sign. And then at the back are the certificates and the uh, summary. And <laughs> Laurie went over all of them very carefully and I've been all over them. And so I would like to make a motion that we approve this group of- There's six of them. Six motor vehicle excise applications mm -hmm. as calculated. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, off we go. Most of them are trades. Is your chair putting a dent in my ballot box? Mine? It's a pretty <laughs> box. Thank you. <laughs> no, but I scuffed up the plastic wrap. I don't care about plastic wrap. <laughs> okay, no, no, no dents, no scuffs. <laughs> Yes, this is going to be this magnificent ballot box is going to be installed outdoors, permanent installation near the sidewalk. Yep. So that people will be able to drop off absentee ballots mm -hmm. and any, other... pa any paperwork for the town is accepted. No, okay. That's how it finally worked out. Yep. I mean it, it's main purpose oh, even, is a ballot box. But... Even for the yep. um yep. Okay. People are welcome to put anything in there. Well, <laughs> any, any town documents, <laughs> not any, yes. any right. town documents. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I haven't got done with the no, dump no. yet. <laughs> no, because see, this, the it's going to, people are going to get confused at first. The slot on it looks large, but it will only open with oh, an nice. opening a half an inch. Oh. So when you push it back, it's only going to go back a teeny tiny bit and have a half inch opening at the top of it. Right now it's locked. Oh, okay. But it'll only but have that's a half what you'll inch. Do? Yeah. It's only a half inch a half inch opening. Oh. Because what's happening is at election time, people are starting fires in ballot boxes. No. Oh yes. Oh my word. And so they've made them now so they can only open enough to fit an envelope. You can't get anything bigger in them anymore. Well, they could like even, it, like even, if they wanted be, to do it, they would do it. They could, but it's a lot more difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you'll yes. be checking it at 7 a.m. and then periodically throughout the day. It won't happen here. Oh, my. Well, Lord. you know, I am pretty sure that during the primary time and during the presidential, you know, presidential elections, we will be advised, as we were three years ago, to lock the box when the office oh. isn't open. 
Yep. So people can't access it at night mm -hmm. because that's what was happening. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And it also keeps people from putting their trash in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, good grief. I'm probably going to have to put a sign on it. I only open one half inch. <laughs> <laughs> This one just needs signatures. Yep. On the, yeah, on that, the, that was already right voted. On the certificate yep. and summary. Yep. That was already voted on. So yes, yes. just signatures. Yep. And did you get all six of those certificates, Braxton? Did I hit them all? I think I did. Okay. Yeah, I did. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is one we had voted on um, and granted, and simply we need to sign the top three pages. We just had to process it. That's so Jeff right. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we have the paperwork for the value agreed upon last time for Bob and Carla Harlow's abatement application. Am I supposed to sign that? No, nope. no, sorry, can't. I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What did that end up being? Another $218. 219. 219. 219. Plus well, a little, in the community a little more for the CPF. Yeah. Ended up being totaling like 225 between the two. Mm -hmm. And that's on top of the little bit she got last time. Right. Which brings it to what? Close to 300? Mm hmm. Ish in that area. Yeah. Okay, next we have the conflict of interest topic. As you can see, Kate could not be here tonight. She generally does have to work on Wednesday nights until eight. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd like to table that until our next meeting. She's going to make it next meeting? Going to try. Mm -hmm. I move to table it. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Any further discussion, I should say. Oh. Okay. No, all in favor? Okay. Aye. Okay. Aye. 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 Whatever. It's getting late. Yep, it is. <laughs> Other business. I do need one more signature, though. You do? It, yeah. yeah, it's in Lee's hot it's all right. right now. Um I'm there right now. We do have uh, a warrant to sign for motor vehicle excise and new um Commitment has come out. It's 2303 number three in the amount of $15,737.29. And excuse me, what this is one? this is for more motor vehicle excise bills. Oh, uh -huh. for Jan to send out. Um, they come in waves. Oh, okay. It's not just a look. Yeah, card. it's hard to no. say what, what these are for. Well, you have people that buy new cars. Oh, yes, of course, all the time. Yeah. And the motorcycles are on this one. Because, are they? Yes. Yeah, they used to have kind of their own. The pickup yeah, trucks my, used to have their own. My darn Rikers on there. Yep. Crazy little. Oh. Okay. 
There we go. So that's our authorization to Jan to, to send, send out, out bills. bills. Yeah. Right. It's always a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Send out the bills. Do we have anyone visiting us online? No questions. We haven't had a soul all night. Okay. And the general public. Uh, do we have any other business? Mm. Except to try and schedule a couple of. Oh, because we need to schedule a work session. Yes. And those have to be posted. Mm -hmm. 48 hours. Business hours. Right. We can't do it this week. No. Uh, you got a bill. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah she you. said she got yeah. a bill. One for me, one for Troy. Oh, we're both okay. there. <laughs> I know I have a bill. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> Um, I have a lot of people. do one on Saturday. Can I give them to you? <laughs> Wait, like, where, where, where are we? I could do okay. a Saturday the 20th or next week. I could do. Um, I thought you wanted to go to the. Sorry, but. Oh, oh that's you, right. There's the doll darn. Yes, and that's right. The kids are coming. Company. Yeah. Um, next week, I could do Monday, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, or probably Friday. Afternoons. I think I'm available. I don't I don't see that I have anything scheduled. Well, let's aim for Tuesday. That's all right. We can go later in the afternoon so that yeah, the rest can come. Yeah. So what are we going to do? Uh, Paramba. And Paramba. Yeah, we could do that. Thing mm -hmm. one. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we can... Do we... We didn't do all the new growth yet. No, we haven't. We need to get back out and do the rest of that. We have the month of June to do that. Um, finish that up. And so we need to get out and do that. And now that it's later, quite later, we can do some of that at that time of day too, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Based on whom we do. So we haven't really discussed anything. I think we needed to figure out what we're going to do about the effective years. Yes, exactly. I mean, that's a huge problem. Right. So I'll try and come up with some reports that demonstrate where we have issues. In other words, where we have inconsistencies. And we can try and work our way through that. Mm -hmm. Also, we need to talk more about whether we're going to change valuation systems. Well, I think it's a good idea. To me, us assessors happen to do the effective year is kind of hard. That's a tough thing to it is to estimate. Yeah, yes. I mean, that's very in the Patriot, from what I understand, the Patriot program doesn't even like to use effective years. They like to use the year, but they have it in depreciation built into it mm. in their calculations. And well, to, the old program had it built in. Is that mm -hmm. right? But they use the effective years. Yeah, they use effective years, but it wasn't. But they was in. it was found the effective year was found on a chart. We weren't entering the effective year in the old program. Right. It was looking at the um, age and the condition. Right. And determining the effective year from that. Yeah. Right. So. Mean. For us to have to for assessors, like yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yeah, it is. It's a tough thing to have to judge every home yep. and to to come up with that effective year. Where, if my understanding is, we go out and do grade condition. Yeah, grade is usually predetermined, but double check it. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Because that can change, we're saying. And um and the condition, yes, and that you put in in the calculations yeah. to come up with the uh we also have town meeting coming up on Saturday the third. Now technically there would not be another meeting between now and then unless we decide to have a work session on the 31st, mm -hmm. which is two weeks from tonight, in order to prepare for town meeting to prepare what we want to say mm -hmm. about these, this particular issue because 
certainly will have to get up and speak to it to an article that's mm -hmm. asking for twenty four thousand dollars, even though we just released twenty five. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, that's a good point to make. Well, yes, <laughs> it is, but you know, um, but that's not guaranteed. It would not be coming off out of the tax revenue. Yeah. So let's try and plan for a work session on next Tuesday, the twenty third. So write this down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Russ, Tuesday, four o'clock, twenty third. Yeah, I'll try to do four o'clock. Okay. So I'm I'm marking this. Going to mark it on my calendar. If something changes, let me know. Yep. Otherwise, I'm going to plan on this. Yep. Okay. Good. Okay. And then, do you want to mark something for the thirty first? Have we got? I'd like to pencil what, it what in. Gotta, Make sure Lee has your correct cell phone number because the number oh, you yeah. have. Yeah. Uh, don't, my, I don't, you don't use a cell phone? It doesn't come in at my house. To right. Speak most Neither of the does mine. So call myself, my home phone. Oh, okay, yeah. come on. Which is, yeah, okay. I just, I mean, the only time I it, use my cell phone is if I'm out of, you know. And it was yeah. odd because it said that the number was no longer. Well, that's, service. it isn't because I switched cell phones. So. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I so was only saying that because I don't think you got the message in time that she left on your home machine last time. Yeah, there was something going on there. Right. That's why if yeah. she had your cell phone, then. Right. Well, and and okay. I still wouldn't have got it, even if it did, because I was home outside doing oh. my stuff. <laughs> and it doesn't really. You're getting very tanned. <laughs> or dirty. I'm not sure I've been in the garden. Raspberries coming along well. They are. I'm good. moving them around. Oh, I'm wow. them up tonight. Huh? You're covering the gardens up tonight. Uh the, the raspberry plants will be fine oh. and those kind of things. I do have a few plants that I am covering up tonight. Mm. Anyone with tomatoes in and so forth ought to be. Yeah. Anything that you put tender, in. Yeah. I got I bought a few flowers I gotta cover up. Okay. Um well to get back. Are we doing the 31st or are we yes. not doing the 31st? Let's do the 31st. At least a oh, work that's session. a Wednesday. Yes, yeah, so a Wednesday before town meeting. For a work session or when, a meeting? When's the, wait a minute. When that meeting is, is Saturday the third. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's a Saturday after the thirty first. Okay. Yes. Uh, so our next meeting would not be until the seventh. Otherwise, okay. After. So we're going to say. Um, so we're going to have a meeting on the thirty first. Thirty first. In what time would that be? The regular our, meeting time. Our usual regular meeting. Oh, so time. we're going to do a regular meeting. Probably we can be a work session. We a, can a limited regular meeting. Yeah, very limited. Well, we'll, keep regular business. Well, it's not going to be like a regular meeting. It can be a work session to prepare for town meeting. Okay. So we're not going to be Let's doing do this work. agenda. No, no. no. Okay. That's not, no. Okay. We'll prepare for town meeting and possibly work on our effective age stuff. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's and that'll be at the normal the time. Is, is what? Is hmm? it a that's, that's a Wednesday. That's a Wednesday. But it's not going to be a normal meeting. Right. But yeah, we'll I put just it, want to make sure. Oh, because you have to. Well, let's go for four if we can. On both of them? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because then we can get out earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how we do. And if you can't get. Oh, there's one of these Wednesdays. I do have something scheduled. Well, uh, I'll let you know. check it. I'll go home and I'll check it and I'll All let right. you know if I have a problem. There's yep. one Wednesday. I do have something in the morning. I'm not sure. One of these. We're going to put something. Oh, I'd like to go over those with Roxy. Um, measurements on your property. My property? Yeah. You said the building dimensions were still wrong? Oh no, it's the it's on the house, not the box. Yeah, it's, okay. It's the house. Well, I've got that too. Okay. Uh, and is there any other business before the board tonight? Then I move. I am going to a Franklin County Associates Association meeting tomorrow morning. They haven't met in several years, so we'll see what's going on. Uh, I move that we adjourn. Seven oh seven. Second. Okay. Mm -hmm.